Okay, well, I'd like to start off where I think I left off um, a couple weeks ago when I last had some time to put these together. And um, where I think I was, was I was looking at this matrix, 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 2 minus 3, 4, 1, 2, and I was finding its inverse. And I'd just like to do the same thing now um, using another method, okay? And the way that method's going to work is um, basically the same way that that road reduction um, method for uh, finding the um, solution to a system of linear equations worked. To, so remember, if I had, I would characterize a system of equations with this matrix um, previously. So that would be x, y, x plus whatever, this times x plus this times whatever's in y plus this times whatever in z. And that was all equal um, to whatever I put on the other side here, which were just three numbers. Uh, this time, um, I'm going to have this equal to the identity matrix. Okay. And with the identity matrix, if I use this, then um, what I'm going to say is, you know, if this is A and this is I, uh, what I'm going to come out with in the end is I over here. So I want to get all this in to look like this. And then over here, I'll have um, A to the minus 1. I'll have the inverse matrix. So I can take uh, what I begin with here and what I end with here, multiply them together and get the identity matrix. All right. Uh, fairly simple um, conceptually. Um, in fact, working this is fairly simple as well. It's it's just a mechanical procedure, um, and I think it's a little bit easier to understand. Uh, so you, you'll remember that the way I tend to I personally tend to solve systems of equations is about as close an analog to um, doing the matrix method or this road reduction method as you can get without actually doing it. Um, so this method seems very, very intuitive to me. Um, so normally what we do previously to solve the, those equations is we'd um, blank out something. So I'm going to use um, this minus one to get rid of the these central um, these central values for these two rows. And uh, while we do that, we add in all the other things. So if I add in two times this over here, right, um, then I'll be able to uh, get rid of the, um, I'll be able to get rid of this too. So, um, so, so I'd have like 2 times 4 plus 1 is 5, right? 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 times 0 plus 0 is 0, right? Just like that. Nice and simple. Um, again, uh, now, I don't multiply this by anything, I just add each row down here, right? So 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. Right, just like that. Very, very simple. Um, next, I'd like to do the same thing, uh, but instead of for these Y components, for these Z components, right? So I, so I just keep going, right? I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, so which of these looks best to work with? Well, probably this guy. He's already got a minus 1. Just add it to that guy, right? So uh, 5 plus 2 is 7. 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1. Uh, minus 1 times... Oh, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Um... Now I've just added this, so we have 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, right? And so we've got our first our, we've got our first row. Our second row we don't change this time, that's the one we're changing with. Alright, and our third row, um, we have to multiply this by 3 and add things together. 
Right. So, um, three times five is 15. 15 plus six is 21. So we write down 21 here. Um, zero plus, uh, three times zero is zero plus zero is zero, so bang, we've got another zero. And we have minus three plus three, we have zero there. Everything's working out pretty well. Uh, now we have to multiply three times, um, three times this guy, that is six, plus one is seven, three times one is three, and, um, Zero times one is, or zero, three times zero plus one is one. Okay, so we're doing all right. Um, so this is looking all right. Um, probably what we'd like to do is uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's just multiply these two rows by minus one and divide this row by 21. Uh, so we have minus seven, one, zero. Uh, minus 3, minus 1, 0. I'm just going to want this uh, minus because it's going to be easier later on. Uh, we want the negative 1. Z negative 5, 0, 1. Um, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Uh, divide by 21, we have 1, 0, 0. Uh, 7 divided by 21, um, that's 1 third. Uh, 3 divided by 21, that's 1 7th, and 1 divided by 21, that's 1 21st. Okay? Um, so things are looking pretty good right here. Um, so what other fun things can we uh, get done in this, in, in this thing? Um, well, now that I have this 1 and these guys here, I can just uh, multiply this by 5 and add and add in and multiply this by seven and add it in and all that other fun stuff. So let's go ahead and work with that for now, right? Um, so I have one times seven is seven plus minus seven is uh, zero. And then zero times seven plus one is one and zero times seven plus zero is zero. All right, and then I have more fun things. So I have uh, seven thirds minus three. Um, three is nine thirds, right? So we have minus um, two thirds right here. And then we have um, minus, well, we have five or seven sevenths. So we have one plus one right, which is zero, um, and seven twenty-firsts, or seven twenty-firsts is one-third, right, so we have one-third right here, uh, that's, that's looking pretty good to me, um, so let's be happy with that, um, And let's see, where am I going with this? Um, up here, okay. So uh, now we have 5 thirds minus 2, uh, which should be um, minus 1, one third. Oh, I guess 5 plus minus 5 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1. Um, so then we have five sevenths minus one is minus two sevenths, right? Um, and then we have minus five twenty, or then we have five twenty first, excuse me, right? Because we're just adding that in, all right? And, um, we have one zero zero, one third, one seventh, one twenty first. Um, and so, how do we put all that together? All right, we say okay. Well, we can switch these rows around. One zero zero, doo, 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 doo. one third, one seventh, one twenty first. 
uh, 0, 1, 0, which is minus 2 thirds, 0, 1 third, right? And um, then we have 0, 0, 1, which is minus 1 third, um, minus 2 sevenths, and 5 twenty firsts, right? So, um, that would mean that um, this is our A inverse because this is I, okay? And I think that's what we got for the last one. Now, it's been a little while, so I'm not completely sure. Um, so maybe the best idea is just to go through and um, do the multiplication, right? We say, okay, we've got my original. Okay, so let's, let's rewrite that. A inverse is equal to 1 to the 20, 121st times one, uh, 7, 3, 1. 7, 3, 1 minus... Um, 14, 0, minus 7, or plus 7, excuse me. Um, and then minus 7 and minus 6, 5. All right. So, um, if we come down a little bit. A, A inverse is equal to, um, oh, let's do A inverse A is equal to 121st times, uh, what goodness do we have? Um, 731 minus 1407 minus 7 minus 6, 5. All right, multiplied by 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 2 minus 3, 4, 1, 2. Okay, and we'll, we're going to get something, right? So we have 7 plus 2, which is 14. Three, 7, 3 times 1, which is 3 and 1 times 4, which is 4. Add those all up, you get 21. That's going to get, give us 1, so we're okay with that. So we have minus 7 plus 6 plus 1, that's 0. 7 minus 9 plus 2, that's 0. Seems like we're doing pretty good. Um, so then we have minus 14, so we have minus 28 um, times 0 plus 28, which is 0. We like that. Then we have minus 14 right there is um, 14, 0, 7. So that's 21. Then we have minus 14 plus 14, which is 0. So we're good with that. Then we have minus 7 times this guy, which is uh, minus 14. Then we have minus 6 plus 20, which is zero. We're, doing, we're cruising, we're cruising. So we have seven minus 12 plus five, hey, zero again. So we have minus seven um, plus 18, so it's 21, or 11, excuse me, and 11 plus 10 is 21, which is just the identity, this thing here is just the identity matrix. Divide that by 21, it's one, one, one. So we're okay. We've got everything we need. That is exactly what we wanted. Um, simple enough to do, right? It's just a procedure. It's sort of mechanical. Uh, but if you practice it enough, you'll do all right. So uh, I'll see you soon.